What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to sketch waves on your hair. Now for this video you're only going to need two pencils. You're going to need a regular ordinary HB pencil. This, this can be any brand as long as it's HB. And you're also going to need an 8B, number 8B. Now this pencil lays down dark graphite so that's why I'm using this one. And keep in mind, since we're sketching, we're using pencils and graphite. So some parts of this video, I'll be applying a lot of pressure. But as I go along for this tutorial, I'll let you guys know how much pressure I'm putting onto the paper. But with that being said, let's get started. So first, I'm going to take my HB pencil. And I'm just going to draw out the lines of the waves. Now, I like to have it like curving off of one of these contour lines here. gonna make sort of like a half ellipse shape and then I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna come and make uh, an opposite curve coming back to the other side of the head and as I continue down from this area these curves will get a lot bigger so keep making those I'm gonna make one more. I think I can get a little small one up here too. Now that we got the contours of the waves drawn, now we're gonna take this same pencil and apply a little bit of pressure coloring in this entire area. So I'm going to go over it one more time. Make sure that's nice and smooth or whatever. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same pencil again and apply just a little bit more pressure than I did the first time. And just to apply shading to both sides of the head. Okay, so now that we got things blended already, I'm going to go in with the same pencil one more time and I'm going to apply a lot of pressure when I'm going close to the edge of the head. And then once I apply that pressure, I'm going to see if I can blend it in with what I just finished doing. All right, so you should end up with something that looks like this. Now I'm gonna put away the HB pencil for now. I'm gonna keep it on my desk because I might use it later. But we're gonna grab our 8B pencil and we're gonna follow the contours of the wave lines. All right. I know it's not going to look right with the lines going from one side of the head to the other, but that's okay because we'll be using the 8B pencil to apply a little bit more shading to both sides of the head so it looks more dark than it does now. So it's okay if it looks like this for now. We're just in the middle of the process, if that makes sense. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient off of each line. So the line that we just put down, I'm actually blending that into the rest of the head. So I'm going to apply a lot of pressure close to the line. And then I'm going to lighten the pressure so I can try to blend with the rest of the head. And I'm going to do that with all the other lines too. Alright, so you should end up with something that looks like this. And if you look at the lines compared to the rest of the shading that we have on both sides of the head, the lines really stand out. But we need to apply some shading to both sides of the head, or at least identical shading to the lines here, or the waves. 
So that's why we're gonna take our 8B pencil again and apply some shading to it. But keep in mind, we're working on top of three or so layers of graphite. So that means we gotta push even harder. So that means apply a lot of pressure to the pencil. Enough so you can apply a different level of shading to both sides of the head. And see how the lines over here are kind of getting blended out? It's hard to see the lines over here, and that's what we want. We don't want these wave lines to go all the way to each end of the head. I mean, we kind of did that in the beginning, but since I said we were adding shading to it, it kind of gradiates out from that, if that makes sense. Because if you look at each line, it kind of disappears going into the shading because it's the same lead just being blended to make extra shading on both sides. So this is where we're at so far, and as you can see, some of these lines up here are kind of getting faded out, and that's what we want. We don't want these wave lines to be perfectly straight. We want to have we want to kind of blur it out some way, somehow, without having to use an eraser and possibly erasing tons of layers of pencil and then having to go back and build up on more layers and, you know, do everything over again in just one small area. We're not doing that. So I'm going to take my HB pencil again and just apply a little bit more pressure to get the area even darker. And by doing that, this kind of wood here on the pencil, it kind of helps smudge these, uh, the 8B lead just a little bit, just to help us blur these lines. And then I'm also go around to the shading portions to see if I can blend those in. But, but of course only if they need it. All right, and I'm also gonna fix this line here. All right, so before I finish, there's one more thing that I wanna do. I'm gonna take a gel pen and just right above each of these lines, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of liquid on the paper and add some glow to each wave just to make it you know give it like a glossy finish and there you probably won't be able to see that but I applied some there but again you don't want to apply too much of it but you do want to get some sort of glossy feeling in there some way somehow but anyway that's how you color waves with graphite so if you liked the video or if you found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you guys next time I